Let's take a look at yet another open world survival crafting game. This one honestly blew me away. And this is just early access and the current state of the game, which I played it in. See how far they have come and how the mechanics of the title work overall. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, when we think of pioneers of the genre, we think of the forest, we think of Subnautica, and we think of Valheim and many others. Let me tell you guys right now, this game absolutely blew me away. I would say I'm a pretty big critic when it comes to the genre, but this game just kept impressing me over and over over again if you like everything involved with valheim the crafting the ability to move around the earth and level the ground and change the ground around you and just the crafting system with forges kilns everything like that this game does it and it does it in a new way similar to valheim but it is awesome to see that a new title is implementing this much structure into it especially this early on now you guys might be thinking okay nomad i totally get it love the game the game sounds great what the heck is a game this game is enshrouded you guys may have heard of it you guys may have it on your steam wish list i completely completely forgot about it until I got an email update on it. A demo did launch. Everything this game encompasses and implements into it is absolutely done correctly. And the crafting, the combat, building of a base, and just the general scope of what you have to do and how this story progresses in this title is absolutely amazing and is done in a great way in my opinion. In Enshrouded, you get encased in this capsule which protects you from the shrouded zones, shrouded being the enemies, and these zones damage you over time. Throughout progressing through the game, you'll be able to last longer in these shrouded areas the whole idea is to go into these shrouded zones which are scattered around the map and again guys full open world you have access to the map immediately there's fast travel points but again you go into these shrouded zones and you're able to find specific resources and things you need to upgrade and to get to different tier of loot base building whatever it may be the goal is to find other survivors who are trapped in their capsules once found you're able to summon them back to your base like i was able to find a blacksmith so now i have a blacksmith i'm able to upgrade and build better gear through him as long as i have the right materials the insane part about this game is the traversal system this game has a grappling hook, being able to traverse up and down cliffs, mountains, ridges, buildings, whatever it may be, ruined, broken down bridges, you can climb them with a grappling hook. The beauty of it, once you're on top, you can pull out a glider and completely glide around the map to make the traversal and getting to different zones a lot faster. The game does have a bit of a learning curve when it comes to the combat. I died a lot and it was frustrating and I thought it was part of the mechanic of the game. I thought it was broken system, but I realized I was just not playing the game properly. This is a survival crafting game similar to Valheim in the sense of the building everything like that as well as eating specific food and making elixirs crafting different recipes based off of berries fruits honey resin meat anything you find out in the world from hunting animals chopping down trees gathering it from bushes you make these different kind of mix give you a buff they'll give you better stamina will boost your attack boost your health whatever it may be these are big things implemented in this title that are important for you to remember when trying to engage in specific areas and different combat the enemy diversity is absolutely fantastic fantastic as well you have different kind of predatory animals multiple different type of enemies this title is unreal like i'm i can't i can't stress it enough how blown away i was and still am on top of all this the skill tree system in this game is so expansive you can choose a ranged path a warrior path a mage path all consisting of different skills and traits you can blend all three of them together you can go completely stealth if you want not only is this an open world survival crafting game but it also gives you the elements of an rpg being able to build up your character the specific builds you like i didn't really get into the mage system i'm not too fond of in most games i'm more of a range guy more of a warrior guy i like getting up close and personal with a shield with a sword a hammer whatever it may be but i did test out the mage system as well with the wand being able to use and implement different kind of spells other gear you can find around the world as well as craft or different kinds of bombs and weaponry it's not just melee combat you have multiple kinds of range weapons multiple kind of grenades if you will the game is so expansive there's so much that this game has on offer and for me to only be playing a demo and not even the early access release is just i have super high hopes for this game and when it launches it's going to launch in early access so they're going to expand it even further so in its current state as a demo and then see what it's going to be on full release i think this will be the next big competitor to valheim now valheim valheim holds its own it is a great game it's super amazing i love that title but i do think this is up there with valheim and just curious what you guys think have you guys heard of enshrouded are you guys interested in it do you know anything about it let me know what you guys think drop a like on the video if this was at all insightful and subscribe for all things open world survival crafting i would love to have you in the community and as always guys stay happy stay hyped and have a beautiful day